Hi, my name is Michael Acevedo. I will be performing the IV administration uh, medication set. Um, first off, I'll go ahead and perform hand hygiene. Then I'll go ahead and place my gloves on. After placing my gloves on, I'll go ahead and show the IV gravity set that I'll be using with a, with a 15 drip rate. I'll go ahead and explain the IV line and explain the parts. So this is the spike den. This is the drip chamber where we'll calculate the drops per minute. And there's a roller clamp. Right now it's in the open position. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. Next we have our, our Y port. This is where we will be administering our medication via piggyback. And here is our lure lock. Them. This is what we connect the to our patient's um, IV site. For the next one, I'll be explaining the secondary set, which is our for our piggyback. Also has a drip rate of fifteen. We have our spiked end again, we've, where we put into our bag, another drip chamber, and our roller clamp. And then this is the part that connects to the Y port. So I'll knock on the patient's room, uh, introduce myself to the patient, identify the patient by having him say his first and last name along with his date of birth, with me also using as a double identifier, checking his wristband. I will ask the patient if he has any allergies to any medications. The patient stated he does not have any allergies. Um, before we do any medication um, or uh, anything we want to do with the patient, we want to identify the six rights, which is right patient, right drug, right route, right dosage, right time, and right documentation. Um, I already did the uh, pre-calculation of our meds, so the patient's fluid, he will be getting uh, 38 drops per minute. This is for the IV fluids. Uh, and then for the meds, uh, you will be getting 100 drops per minute of amoxicillin. Basically, we got the 150 divided over the time it will be going, times that by the 15 drops. And then we get the 20. 250 over 20, which we would get 38. And then over here, we get the 15 drops. Uh, 1500 over 15, which will give us 100 drops per minute. Now we go ahead and get our IV bag ready and, and we'll go ahead and hang it. We wanna make sure it's 30 inches above the patient's IV site. And we're gonna go ahead and get our first IV set with the white port and spike the bag. 
going to go ahead and take the protective cover off, throw that in the trash. And go ahead and spike that. And after we spike that, we want to go ahead and uh, fill the drip chamber up with halfway with fluid. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the end where the lure lock is at to remove all the air uh, and bubbles out of the line. And go ahead by releasing or putting the roller clamp on the off position. And we just want to get as much fluid as we need out. A couple drops. Okay. After we got that, we want to calculate 38 drops a minute uh, by looking into the drip chamber while we regulate with the roller clamp. So we're going to count for one full minute. Just one full minute. Drip rate is at 38 drops per minute. We'll go ahead and cover the lure lock. This is to the side. <coughs> Next, we're going to go ahead and get our medication bag. Remove the uh, little cap that's there. Again, you want to ask the patient if he has any allergies, just to make sure that he doesn't have any. Um, sir, do you have any allergies to any medications? Patient verbalizes no. Now that we know the patient does not have any allergies, uh, we'll go ahead and get our piggyback set, our secondary set. I'm going to go ahead and remove the protective covering. Throw that away. And get our IV bag. Make sure it matches our orders. Go ahead and spike the bag. After spiking the bag, 
So we want to hang the medication higher than our IV solution. So I'm going to go ahead and hang it above our IV solution. And we want to lower this down a tad. Go ahead and go ahead and put place this to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and get our alcohol swab, and then go back to our primary IV set. Go ahead and wipe down the wipe port with alcohol pad. Okay, go ahead and let this dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clamp, I mean, not the clamp, remove the covering from our secondary set. Throw that away. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to our white port. Okay, now that we got that, I'm gonna go ahead and place this to the side here. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill our drip chamber of medic with medication. I'm gonna go ahead and go halfway. Now that we're halfway, we wanna count out again for one full minute that we get 100 drops per minute for the medication. I'm gonna go ahead and start it in five seconds. Now that we got our drip rate at factored at 100 drops per minute as ordered, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our lure lock. So we get our alcohol pad, swab down the IV site um, port, let that dry, and then go ahead and connect this in to the patient's IV site. After we administer the medications via IV, we want to stay with the patient and assess the patient's um, IV site, make sure this patient has no swelling, uh, no infiltration is noted, no bleeding, no discoloration. Uh, patient is alert and oriented. Mr. Doe, how are you feeling? Patient responds, he's feeling okay. Um, any pain at the site? Patient re responds with no pain. Um, we'll go ahead after we're done and the patient safe, is safely in bed. We'll go ahead and raise the bed rails up. If they were down, uh, lower the bed, place the patient's call lighter within reach. Uh, and then we go ahead and get all the trash collected. Go ahead and throw that away. After that, we'll go ahead and leave the patient's room and go ahead and document our, our, um, 
document our in our notes in our system.